Hi, I'm Steve Ruth, professor in the School of Public Policy at George Mason University, and this is the first of two short lectures I'm going to be giving as introductions to the new course that's taking place in the uh, spring semester 2013 that has to do with MOOCs. The title of the course is Massive Open Online Courses and Higher Education Policy. And an alternative title to the course is Higher Education Policy and Ballooning Tuition Costs. Can MOOCs, Course Redesign, and Competency-Based based Approaches Help? So that's a pretty long title. But the basic theme of these uh, two, two brief lectures is that uh, it's an interesting topic and also it's one that definitely fits in the public policy rubric and it's also uh, one that has a very uh, surprising amount of new information that most students I think are going to find useful. So uh, this first 10 minute lecture has three parts. It's going to be an overview of the course, it's going to include uh, learning objectives in the course, and finally uh, examples of interventions and key options that are appropriate for this particular uh, subject matter we're going to be discussing. The second of these two 10-minute lectures is going to include something that's probably a lot more interesting for you. Uh, the sensitive issues, the hot buttons you might say, the things that, that make this topic particularly significant and, and complex. And uh, also uh, the second of these two items in the, in the subsequent lecture is the student portfolio. Part of what we do in courses that I've been involved in is to let students pick a uh, a group of, of topics, uh, I call them a portfolio, that they particularly specialize in, uh, focus on, and uh, take uh, full advantage of the uh, variety of those topics so that they can pick their own. So first of all, an overview of the course. <clears throat> I've mentioned in, in, in previous presentations, and also it says on the syllabus, that the aggregate student loan burden in the United States is over a trillion dollars. That's more than credit card debt. And that there are quite a few possibilities <clears throat> for reducing tuition costs. There are several interventions that may possibly use technology to make drastic reductions in tuition costs. Some of these involve what are called MOOCs. I've mentioned MOOCs earlier, but there's also one called course redesign, some dramatic potential improvements but through course redesign. Uh, there's a, a co competency-based kind of approach with the Western's Governors University has been the major proponent of. Uh, the Texas and several other states have what they call a $10,000 degree program, so you get your entire college education for $10,000. <clears> and there are many other approaches. And in the background there's always this comment that Bill Gates has made again and again about the whole concept of the university as a place. Maybe that is not going to be uh, forever. So the course will focus on the use of technology to reduce the spiraling cost of college tuition. And I should say that a good summary of the material is in an article I wrote this year, and <clears throat> you'll see it described in this slide, but the article is helpful. I'm not I don't normally push my own material, but this is one where I think you, I give you a pretty good description of some of the possibilities and also some of the challenges in trying to extract these, these sort of cost savings and, and changing public policy so that they might be achieved. <clears throat> so we'll be looking at about a dozen different technology interventions in higher education, and the basic goal is over the next 10 years perhaps, or maybe it'll take 20 years, instead of doubling tuition costs to have them. That would be something if that were possible. And uh, the, the promise of this technology indicates that it probably is possible. As to the way the course is being presented, about half of it will be delivered online and students will be able to focus on specific research areas after successfully completing the early assignments. I should uh, emphasize right here that <clears throat> the students in this course uh, are going to be taking massive advantage of interaction techniques. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, interaction in class. There's going to be a lot of participation online <clears throat> since we only meet in class half the time. And so uh, student participation is going to be very important. And we're not just going to be ex ex exchanging comments about things that are interesting to us, etc. 
we're actually going to be talking about specific references, specific insights, uh, policy issues, news, et etc. That's going to be a crucial part of the course. Uh, as I said, we'll only meet formally uh, six or seven times, and it's not out of 16. So that's a, that's a big change from what most courses offer in our graduate program. In terms of a course overview, um, I should mention the learning objectives. You can find them on the syllabus. But the basic theme is to, to develop greater competence in these areas. <clears throat> First of all, understanding how some national policy questions can be framed in the context of the cost of college tuition. Secondly, observing and describing the manifestations of higher education costs at micro and macro levels. We'll actually be looking at some of the cost data and seeing what it tells us. Um, third, we, we ought to be able to review um, some of the interrelated uh, roles of technology in higher education uh, and identify policy enablers and barriers, and there are quite a few of both enablers and barriers to reducing the cost of tuition. We'll look at some of the metrics. How do you, how do you figure out that uh, a program is successful or not and whether uh, tuition it delivers uh, what uh, the, the actual amount in, in value, with the value proposition you might call it. And finally, we'll be using teaming and class participation to, to sharpen understanding of technology's role in higher education. So those are, those are some very significant issues that we'll be, we'll be working on. And my hope is that we'll be able to take full advantage of the many uh, opportunities in terms of research and also in terms of the uh, examination of related issues, things that have to do with technology and education, but also fit into other parts of uh, discussion in the field of, of, of public policy research. One other point about the course before I conclude this lecture, and that is that I'm hoping that we're going to be able to use a lot of these techniques. The technique I'm using right now is called uh, Premier. It's an Adobe product, but there are plenty of other interesting products that allow a person to project this way. When we do projects, it may be that you can do them with Premier because Premier also has a desktop version, which I've also used, and it works just fine. So uh, I, I'm hoping we can practice some of this, plus the interaction techniques that we'll be using online. <coughs> my, my aim is to be able to have all of us try maybe half dozen of them as we go through the course and decide which ones there's Blackboard. And there are many, many share <coughs> various sharing techniques. So we'll try a lot of them, I think, because there's some students who have been very helpful, uh, particularly Chris Tilley and his as assistant, Stephanie, I think we're going to be able to have a lot of uh, hands-on experience in addition to the actual theory and uh, research we'll be doing. So that's the end of this one. I hope that you find it interesting. And the next one, which will be coming up, probably will be a little bit more jazzy because we'll be talking about some of the really crucial, sensitive issues. Thank you.